Hi everyone, welcome to Python Learning CS 102 Engineers. In this video, we'll see how to read CSV file and get data for communicating with devices. This is going to be one of the subtopic in overall Python learning series in the channel. This CSV part is going to have total four video. This is the introductory video. Here we will see what we are trying to achieve using this CSV file. First, I'll show the final result what we are going to achieve after learning this. Here, this script you can see, final script for device execution. So here, with open method, I'm opening one CSV file. I'll open here and show you that content. Here you can see IP addresses of the devices in the first row. And below that, we can see the respective configuration which I need to push to the device. Here, I purposefully added some blank spaces because we'll be handling even this in the script even in the device part also i have added some blank space so let's try executing the script you can see here i have given a couple of ips and one dns name so that we can verify whether even name resolution is happening from parameter side here are the libraries i'm using csv and i'm using dictator method and I'm using Paramico for initiating SSH and executing the command. Let's try executing this script. So you can see here, it is reading the device details from this CSV and executing command on each device. You can see even it is handling the device exceptions like cannot connect to the device and now it is executing command on the CSR one. So command execution has been completed you can see here. Here for reading CSV file this is the logic I am using and here you can see after reading the file the total output the result is storing into the config dictionary. So this is the dictionary which I am using while initiating SSH connection to the device in, inside Paramico. So we will try to understand this logic. So overall what I am going to explain is first we will see what is CSV reader and how to read content from a row formatted configuration and in the column format. This is going to be the final file but before that even we will have a look into the row based configuration. Here you can see in the first row I have given first device and I added the configuration in this, this way and we will see both formats and how to handle using CSV reader and CSV dictator. So we'll go to CSV's document here. We can see here. So it returns reader object and it gives a list from each row. And if you see the dictator, so let's have a look into that. This create an object that operates like a regular reader and it gives key name. So key name will be the field names. So we will see both. I will be explaining the logic what I used here. There might be multiple ways to achieve this. This is one of the way. Here I will show you the type of data which I am generating after reading the CSV file. This is the format which I am generating the data from CSV. You can see here it is a dictionary and the key is IP address of the device and the value is the list of commands which needs to be executed on the device. So I am getting this output by reading this file in the script. So inst uh, instead of reading the CSV file even we can just give this as the input and get the device configuration. So let's have a look into that. So I have one more script here, script validation. This is exactly same as final script. 
what I'll do, I'll just comment CSV reading logic and I'll directly put the output dictionary which I get from reading the CSV and let us try executing this. So you can see here, even this content also executes the script. So I'll be explaining this logic, how I generated this using reader, CSV reader and CSV dict reader from row and column format. And after having this dictionary, what we are doing here, I'll just demonstrate that. So let me just remove this. Some scripts were there. Here, let me put the same logic here also. And here, what I'll do, same like our parameter logic, first we need to get the IP from the complete dictionary. So what we'll do, for IP in the complete dictionary will give as input contradict and the dictionary's keys dot keys and now let us try printing the IP I'll just define f f string I'll type IP addresses and let us try running the script so you can see here it is printing individual IP now after getting the IP address we need to execute command on each device so what we'll do here print conf date of IP we will try printing that first so that we'll get the values that means this list will get for each device so let us try running it so you can see here below each IP we are getting the configuration respective configuration now if we need to iterate through this what we can do is uh, for it is a list so we can iterate for conf in conflict of IP and we'll just print the IP in the configuration so let us try running it so you can see here now for each device we are getting the configuration so the same logic I'm using here inside Paramico, if you see for IP. Okay, let me make it to the split. So you can see here, for each IP I'm in, in, inputting the conf dictionary and inside that for configuration I'm just iterating through the final list the configuration list so in the next video we'll see how to use the CSV reader for reading the configurations and passing it I'll explain the complete logic what I used I hope this video was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video